the characteristics of a cloud. Okay, we have uh, on one hand we have this on-demand self-service, something which if you use Amazon, you will know that you're going there and you're uh, you know giving commands to start a EC2 instance or you are telling how much storage space you want and other services that are there you procure on demand you don't need to tell Amazon and Amazon doesn't uh, have to go and do it for you you can do it on demand on your own okay the second one is that all these cloud services should be accessed from networks anywhere right so basically the, on the internet you should be able to access all these cloud services then the third concept is of resource pooling that you are not dedicating the resources for any one person so the resources are all pulled together so if it is storage you will have a lot of storage in one place which can be provisioned to multiple people that is how things work there rapid elasticity this has been one of the main features of the cloud that is when you need more resources you can be rapidly provision those resources, you can be given the resources that you want. So if you go to Amazon for example, you are looking at uh, scaling your storage, you can scale that at any point in time. You don't need to worry whether there will be more storage available, not available and all that, that the cloud provider is supposed to take care of. And then the final thing which is what makes cloud unique is that measured service, that is you pay for what you use. You don't pay for something that you do not use. So if you have an EC2 compute instance, for example, how long you run that instance is what you pay for. You don't just pay because I have an EC2 instance, I have to pay this much. Same way with storage, or whatever storage that you use, only that is counted and, and charged to you. So these are the five things which would make a cloud. And these should apply to both public cloud, uh, private cloud or a hybrid cloud, it doesn't matter. But if you have, you know, all these five aspects in place, then you can call yourself a cloud. Of course, there are certain places where, you know, this is not 100% uh, um, uh, as per this, but this is generally a definition which we can follow to know if you are running a data center or you are running a cloud.